Right, I've been trying this method here a little, a little while and it works pretty well. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing. Uh, this is what I've got taken off so far. I want to get these uh, a bit lower and I'm using uh, my uh, piece that I used to round or cover the ply edges. I'm using that thickness as my goal. So I've got uh, my block plane here that I've been using, my low angle plane. And I had a piece underneath here and I've been holding it with my, my fingers as I slide along here. And I can tell that I'm, I'm not bottomed out yet uh, because I can feel it. And then I'm using this piece, which is the same thickness uh, as this one. This one's got a little taper to it, maybe. Anyway, it's close enough. Yeah, that's good. So what I'm going to do is keep this as my gauge block. You can see here I'm high. Over here, I'm, I'm about done. I mean, that is whisker close. So the, the grain changes directions on this piece. It's, it, i got to do it from this direction here to about this pencil mark and then the rest comes from the other way and then this is where it starts to get high again right here just a little bit so I've got a little bit more to do here uh, but I'm going to come from this direction and I'll worry about the middle later what I want to do now though instead of holding this with my fingers all the time I'm going to put some double stick tape on here Tape this piece here. Yeah, that's the same. Uh, to this one, and then this long one is going on my jack plane, which I'll just use the weight of the plane to ride. And this is set to a really fine cut. So this will be kind of like my finishing step as I, the, the closer I get. So I'm going to double stick this one. All right, I made a couple of adjustments here. I gave myself a little more room. But here it goes. Well, that caused a little tear on right there. I can't go quite that far. Got to stop about right here. Oh, that is so nice. Holy crap, that's working out well. This is high, right by the decorative piece. And we've got to come this way.
that did the job beautifully. I am so pleased with the way that worked out. Uh, I'm going to sand the inside. The outside is done. And I redid these facets on here, and that looks really nice as well. So I'm happy with that too. Turns out I didn't use this maybe 15 seconds. I, I realized that the blade depth on this one and the depth on that one are two different heights. So this one's pulled back a little bit to give you a finer shaving, and it barely touched this. Well, once I got down to where I wanted to get here, so uh, I was getting good enough results just using the block plane. I used this one to uh, do the facets. So I'm going to take this sanding block, and when I rest it on here, I get a pretty good uh, registration. I'm just going to give it a once over. Uh, there might be a couple of spots here. We got one right here. Actually, I'm, I'm rethinking that. I'm, I'm not going to do anything with that just yet. I'm going to take the sharp edge off of the outside here. I'm going to leave the inside until after I pour that epoxy. This is just knocking the edge off. I'm not, I'm not too worried about this being perfect just yet. One last spin around the block before I take her apart and round over the edges on the base. The top is done. That turned out beyond my imagination turned out well. Just uh, happy as can be. And uh, I think it's going to be a beautiful table once I get it finished. Got this knocked down, you know, down to a reasonable height. It's about 3 16 and maybe a little less, but I didn't want that epoxy to be so thick. It's going to be thick anyway, but I didn't want it to be a sixteenth of an inch thicker than what uh, I've got right now. Everything is flush. Uh, that's that's was the main goal there to get this flush as well. And uh, like I said, I'm happy. Okay, this is the last shot of it before I put the finish on it. I've got the edges rounded. And this is not a burn mark, by the way. That's just a little inclusion in the in the maple. But it is just nice. And it went back together without that much trouble. and spins like a champ. And these uh, these wedges I still I still just like those a lot. So I'm gonna be putting some finish on and then after the, after I uh, stain it that when I will uh, let it sit for a few days, or at least a couple before I pour this epoxy. But it just feels nice to the touch. Really nice. Okay. Thanks for watching.